Hello, and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis, where we bring to you all the latest developments, happening in the defense sector. Indian Air Force, is looking to boost its air-to-ground strike capabilities. Last year, the Indian Air Force has exercised emergency procurement powers, for procurement of the French Amaray, A, S, M precision strike weapon system for the Rafale. The decision was taken citing the conflict scenario with China at LAC, and because disengagement efforts hitting multiple roadblocks. At that time SPICE was not integrated with Rafale. Integration of missile with fighter plane along with testing, and certification will, take approximately 18 months of time. So it was wise decision by Indian Air Force to order hammer missiles which is already certified for operation with Rafale. Indian Air Force has also chosen hammer missiles, to be integrated with LC Atejas. As per latest update, HL has successfully been able, to integrate hammer missile with the LC Atejas. The test of hammer, will soon be followed by that of, the Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDAM, around 250 of which were recently ordered by Indian Air Force, and DRDO's smart anti-airfield weapon, SAAW. The hammer appears to be the newest weapon system being installed on the Tejas. The integration of hammer missile on Tejas, will provide Tejas capability to carry out Balakot type airstrike. Previously Tejas was equipped with, Russian TV guided KH-59 Mi, KH-59 Liters and KH-59T missiles. These missiles are two decades old platforms. So, in order to enhance air to ground capability of Tejas IAF has to go for either SPICE or HAMMER missiles. Till date HAMMER integration is planned on Tezas, and this procurement is for the same. Now there are various reasons due to which Indian Air Force wants to integrate Tezas with Hammer Missile. Indian Air Force have limited number of squadrons, Sukhoi can fire Spice Missile, Mirage 2000 can fire Scal PG, and Spice 2000, Jaguar can fire AL-30 laser guided bombs, and Rafale can fire Hammer Missiles. All the four plus generation fighter jets, of Indian Air Force are equipped with, precision guided air to surface missiles except, Tezas. So, Indian Air Force wants Tezas also to be equipped with hammer, to be capable of carrying out multiple missions. As Indian Air Force have limited number of fighter jet, and it will take time to grow squadron strength, but meanwhile Indian Air Force can make each and every fighter as deadly as possible. Currently, Mirage 2000, is used for air-to-ground strike. Now Mirage 2000, Jaguar, and MiG-29 UPG is planned to be replaced by, Tezos MK2. So till that time we need to, have all, the capabilities, these fighter jets had in Tezos. Talking about Hammer, it is a medium-range air-to-ground weapon. It was initially designed and manufactured for the French Air Force and Navy. The missile has two versions which are categorized, based on the type of guidance system used on it. First version has hybrid inertial or GPS in decametric, all-weather version, and second version has hybrid inertial or GPS, and infrared homing or solid metric day or night version. It can carry 250 kilograms of warhead. The hammers would give India the capability to take out any bunkers or hardened shelters in any type of terrain including mountainous locations such as Eastern Ladakh. The Indian Air Force is strongly supporting the indigenous LCA Tezas fighter aircraft program by adding more and more capabilities of the aircraft. The Indian Air Force has already operationalized two of its squadrons in the IOC, Initial Operational Clearance, and FOC, Final Operational Clearance versions. Additionally, a contract has been signed for the 83 Mark 1A which is scheduled to be delivered from 2024 onwards. The Indian Air Force has also its eyes set on the LCA Mark II and the AMCA being developed by the Diario for it. The Indian fighter jets is already considered to be far more capable, than the Pakistani, and Chinese joint venture JF-17 fighter jet. And with additions like the Hammer, the Indian fighter jets would be in a much higher category than them. This was today's update, please let us know what is your view about these, in comments section. 
to post your comments, and suggestion about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this I like to say goodbye friends.